Hey guys, I'm Rosalvena. Welcome to a new, or, well, not new, I shouldn't say new. Every time when I say new, it just feels kind of, like, by the time it hits, like, two years old, like, if this video turns two years old, it's just, like, it's not new anymore by that point. Um, American, I see the, the Night Spring sign, like, seven miles from here kind of thing. <laughs> the little background, right, right on the, uh, that side of the, the screen right there a little bit. Um, but yeah, welcome to American Nightmare, or Alan Wake's American Nightmare. This is a sort of spin-off game that I think I remember it being like not related to the story by that like not a huge amount I guess. But it basically carries a lot of the same mechanics that Alan Wake was using and pretty much just taking it into a different place uh, by using a different backdrop, a different story, uh, but with most of the, the same characters I say. Different story but most of the same characters and different like region of areas of America. Uh, which is an interesting take that Remedy took, or an interesting turn that Remedy took to kind of ensure that it's a different experience versus the original Alan Wake. But otherwise, uh, if you're wondering, have I beaten this game before or if I played this game before? Yes, I have played the game before the start of this Let's Play, but I have not beaten it. So I pretty much don't know how this American Nightmare ends. I, rem I forgot most of the stuff that happened in this game because I pretty much didn't really like see myself uh, becoming interested in finishing the game. I think due to the fact that there was other games that were more interesting that took my time. Uh, I mentioned this somewhere at the end of the Alan Wake series that I ended up playing Bioshock Infinite, I think, at the time, and they were released around the same time. Uh, or if not Bioshock Infinite, then it would have been like another game that came out around 2014-ish that took over my time to not play American Nightmare or uh, 2015. I forget which year it was specifically, but I know that I ended up not playing it and finishing it uh, or not 2014, it was like 2011, 2012-ish, yeah, when, when I got this game, uh, which I just ended up not being interested in continuing this game. But I'm glad to finally sit down and play the Steam version the, the, that I pretty much repurchased on Steam because I want to see the highest quality of the game. Uh, first and foremost, let's start with the options. Uh, they did redid, I feel like they redid the whole menu system, so it's pretty interesting. Um, of course, audio, I turned down the music all the way down to one, so you won't hear it unless you turn it all the way up at the very least, but I'm hoping no copyright music. Uh, Graphics-wise is an interesting tale to tell, I think I'd say. Um, V-Sync on, it was off earlier. Uh, Blur is off, which is fantastic. I love the fact that they turned it off for us. Advanced settings, I turned up everything to the highest quality. I don't know how bad this game is in terms of technicality. Like, will it take too much resources or... Will it take less resources because I turned everything high? Uh, draw distance is only like a shy away off by three from their maximum number because I was afraid that I might be pushing it. But I'm not entirely sure how old this game is and how like how much resources it would take to kind of get the thing. Even though I don't, even though you know I don't, I don't think it should take too much resources off of my computer. Uh, I think it should be pretty much fine. Um, and then subtitles are on because it was off earlier too as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, Achievements will pull up the Steam website thing, so browser thing. This is collectibles. Uh, you can't see this because my head screen is blocking. Collectibles have like weapons, manuscript pages, videos, and radio shows, which I will know nothing about that until we get into the game, uh, obviously. And uh, there's an arcade action, which we'll explore at the end of the series or near the end of the series. So I'll dedicate like one or two videos for this one because apparently it's part of the game, but I want to play the game story first before jumping into... The arcade action that the that this game has because I think there's uh, you can't really play this unless you unlock the levels I think uh, I took a quick glance of the achievements for this game so it pretty much was there all right let's jump into it right away I'm not gonna speak too much more because I think that I might be over speaking nightmare or normal mode interesting this is turned these the difficulties from four ish different ones to like just two that's Kinda nuts. <laughs> Normal, I'll take that. Somewhere in Arizona. It's a cinematic piece though. Oh? My goodness. Barry Wheeler, Asgard, old Asgard, all access. And it's actually Barry sleeping. <laughs> Oh, and then the night's blurred. I have nowhere as 
vividly as in Night Springs. Do -do 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 -do. Dun -dun -dun. Alan Wake, written by Alan Wake. Wow. The man before you is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. Maybe, but what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. Man, the audio level is different from the first original one, though. But yeah, I love the fact that it's live action. Like, they're, like they're literally filming the actor being as Alan Wake. <laughs> it's really cool. But it's a cinematic piece, which is experimental to what they did for Quantum Break, I think. Because Quantum Break, they did, they the sort of... The man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Yeah, it, it was like a... It wasn't a... This is like the experimental thing that they did before they went into Quantum Break. Uh, so that's at least... That's really cool at the very least. Um, also, I put my face cam in this position because I was afraid that it... Or, or I was thinking it would be similar UI-wise, placement-wise, but the difference here is probably the subtitles are more cleaner... Or not cleaner, but like more placed properly so that it doesn't end up being off-screen and stuff. Alright, let's go. Also, I need to switch back my left side, left adjacent. Uh, keep in mind, I actually finished Alan Wake literally before this episode started, so keep in mind, and I might not even do, I'm not going to do a one hour episode for this one, because, uh, primarily because I wanted to kind of keep it as is for now, where I'm just doing less, uh, less to do, uh, I want to do less in, for the first episode for this one, because this is a way shorter game compared to the first Alan Wake. The heck? Oh, it's teaching us the mechanics for the light. So we can't really destroy this unless we bring him down, I guess. Ooh, bright as always. Is that the lighthouse? It looks like one. Man, the clouds look just so different. And even the moon. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah, I haven't really. I don't know what really changed outside of this game, so we'll probably be seeing that through this pistol. Hey. Oh my. Oh god, the Taken looks way more vicious, or much more scarier than the... Oh yeah, that's probably what it is. Wow, the guns? It's gonna be like that again, huh? Oh. The gunplay is a lot more different than the uh, original one. Because it's a lot faster. The, the gunshot's fire rates is a lot faster than the revolver from the original game, from the first game, but holy heck. This is quite, this is, this is really different. I, I forgot how different it was compared to like playing Alan Wake, the original Alan Wake right off the bat. But like, holy heck, it was, this is so different from the, uh, from the first Alan Wake or the original Alan Wake. I don't know what to call it. In another life, the man was a writer. He still practices that art forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. Oh, so they're just telling me about the manuscript. So the one thing they really took away was... Uh... Oh yeah, you can't see this, but it's 1 out of 53. Uh, actually, let me take a pause so I can move my face cam a little bit higher. Probably for the best. Actually... I don't think the top right is occupied, is it? I don't even know. I'll put it on top of this, like this. I think that would be better. Yeah, because I don't I don't think anything is occupying the top right of the screen, but I'm assuming that obje objectives might be occupying the top, very top of this. Yeah, there it is. So you can see the manuscript count instead of my face cam only. My name is Alan Wake, 
and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. Man, I didn't know they actually took this turn of making it harder to read a little bit. A little bit. It, it makes it feel realistic, but it's harder to read, I think, because of a little bit of the darkness uh, on the edges of the pages, or the side of the pages. I don't. I hope you guys can read it, but we'll see. Um, okay, so there's how many pages? I do not know. It's like about maybe nearly 20? 20. 21, there it is. I see it. I see the freaking thing on top of me at the very least. And there's three levels, three main, like, sort of places we can, that we will be going through. So, yeah, that's what I meant, like, by it being shorter, is that it's not going to be a really lengthy game. But, yes, what I'm trying to say is that they took away the light shine that kind of removes the darkness without having to press right button or the boost button. But, I don't know, I don't really hate it, but I don't like it exactly, unless, uh, unless it was purposely for the fact that it would make this sort of game a little bit more difficult. A little bit. I wonder if there's collectibles right off the bat. Besides the manuscript, obviously. Because I'm kind of curious, considering that there's probably some other collectibles in play. I don't know what the... I, d I didn't take a very deep look at the achievements, but I'm assuming that there's some collectibles and achievements would be a part of it somehow. It looks like a switch or something. It's like a radio tower here, maybe, or an oil, oil uh, rig of some sort. The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. You ain't wrong. Also, what the heck? There's a diner right there too. Checkpoint reached. Doesn't matter which direction I go. Oh. Somewhere within the earth. Space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. Ugh. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Oh gosh, what the heck? There's a lot of these guys, what the heck? I walked away too, oh my god. Come on, buddy boys. Oh, sometimes running away is the best option. Brightly lit areas can provide safe haven from enemies. Oh wow, that really didn't help. Okay, well I'm running. I can't stay here now. I know that game. There we go. At least I got rid of one of them. Okay, I need to just get to the safe light. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'll probably pick those up later. Oh, there it is. I thought it was not available. I guess it it just probably for the tutorial. For the sake of the tutorial, just wanted to get rid of it. Yeah, at least I got rid of that crap. Yeah, I have a limitation of how much ammo I got, so let's get into here. Safe Haven forms by a bright light heals you. I already know that. It hasn't changed much. Is there anything on this thing? Yeah, I want to explore that building, but it's like held off by the enemies over there, which I'm scared of. What is this? Unlock weapon grades by finding hidden manuscript pages and blast your enemies with serious firepower. Okay. I guess the tutorial is a bit more... Ooh, okay, I see. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot this game took a Whoa. little bit of a... Escape to take it into the motel. The achievement unlocked. I forgot this game was more like an open world-esque kind of thing. It felt more open world when I first played it. And I was surprised how it was changed by that much oh i also hope this is not copy written but considering hey, it's you mm -hmm. yeah you remember me right emma emma sloan i think you might have something that belongs to me really a typewritten page oh yeah that's weird I, I did find a page like that i don't even know where it came from it was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite yes that's what i'm looking for oh well, i don't know how you knew i had it but i, I guess it's yours <laughs> listen 
what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. The conversation kind of felt weird, though. <clears throat> Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember, you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um, now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. <laughs> I'm very sensitive to things like that. Uh, okay. But she sounds like a dumb character for some reason. Like, I think she's probably written that way. Like, she... She's written in a way that makes her look kind of dumb. At the oil derrick, the wheel had been jammed in place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox, all distorted guitars and intense beat. High above, some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Trailing debris, it screamed down from the skies at an impossibly steep angle. All that high-tech engineering reduced to nothing more than a bullet that would destroy whatever it hit. <clears throat> Additionally, I do think that this game took a bit of a different, like, I think it's the same engine, but it just had a little bit of an upgrade, maybe. Because I can see how interestingly different it is, but it still had, like, some of the typical physics systems that they had in the original Alan Wake. And it has some of the sort of like sort of like the same UIs to some capacity but all of it like seems to be updated to a good degree there's a bunch of stuff I need to find the things mentioned on that page well there's a lot of old crap lying around this place great thanks I think you should be able to find everything except the satellite obviously <laughs> are you gonna tell me what this is I don't think that'd go over too well why don't you let me be the judge of that Fine. Uh -huh. The page is a formula for rewriting reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer monster things keep pouring out of there. Yeah, you were right the first time. What? Why does this lady just sound dumb? I don't know why. I'm not saying she's. I'm not saying she's badly written. I think the character is intentionally supposed to be like a, like a. Naive like gullible kind of person like the person doesn't really care as much and she just wants to live her life in a brainless world probably i guess you can think what you want about me but there's still bad guys around be careful well you might be nuts but i've seen the way they move the way they look i'll buy that they're called taken they aren't really human not anymore and they're climbing out of the oil well what do they have secret headquarters down there or no that's just where the point of connection is it's a hole that leads to, well, it's a really nasty place. That's why I need to close it. And the guy who looks like you opened it, because he was hanging around the oil field before. He gets around, unfortunately. <laughs> he gets around. Thanks for helping me. Oh, I wish I thought you were just a nutcase. Thanks. Actually, I kind of expected you to. Me too. But I feel like this is how it's supposed to go. Isn't that weird? Not really. I get that a lot in my line of work. <laughs> what do you do anyway? I'm a writer. Obviously. Obviously? How does she know? I don't get it. She's like, she knows things, and then she doesn't know the thing, and then she's like playing coy. What is, what is this lady, dude? What was that you said about my aura? Oh, <laughs> I'm very spiritual, you know. I can see auras, aura, aura. but I only use it for healing and helping people. I'm like a wise woman, you know? I give people insight and advice. Look, just because I say crazy things doesn't mean I believe everything. Don't be like that. Maybe you should take a few crystals with you if you're going out there. Uh. It might be dangerous. They soothe your energies and focus your mind. It's fantastic. And they help me take out the bad guys? Oh, well, no, not as such. Yeah. I Okay, I think I'm... Or I have some wonderfully potent herbal detox suppositories. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. She's offering weed or crystal meth. Well, she said crystal, so I'm assuming that was crystal meth, which is not a great sign of anything. It just means that she's a criminal. Run for it. All right, what is this? Nail gun? Do I want a nail gun? What does the nail gun entail? It's 2525. Does it... I don't know if it's fast, faster or stronger in... 
I want to give it a shot, but I'll give that a shot later. I will probably hold that off from... I'll hold my thought off of getting a different weapon at the moment. Unless it's a shotgun or something. Okay, so the inventory system is pretty much the same. Let me move my face cam all the way to the top right. Screw it. I don't think there's anything that's actually sitting at the uh, top right of the screen yet. Uh, and I feel like it's blocking some of the manuscript readings at points in time, so I'm just going to leave it at that. The Champion of Light recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Uh-huh. Alright, so uh, otherwise, if there's anything on the top right, I'll probably pick it up, or I'll change my... I'll change my, uh, my face cam's position in general if I have to. Ammo boxes have ammo, so I get it. Flares... Is that a TV? I need to... You can toss flare with the middle mouse button. Flashbangs as well, I guess. Alright, yeah, let's go. Oh, hell. This isn't gonna be good. Nope. Is this on? How can you tell? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with gadgets. <laughs> but somebody's crying in the background. There we go. That's more like it. I'll be right with you. I just gotta do this one thing. Hmm? I like it quiet. What the hell? Did he just shut him up like that? What the hell? I bet you're wondering why this is happening. Why am I doing all this? Why am I so hell-bent on ruining your life? You're cramping my style. <laughs> You've got money, fame, everything you could want. But you don't know what to do with it. I do. I'm getting all the things you never had the balls to go for. Uh... Having more fun, too. <laughs> I bet he's gonna kill him. Do you know the real difference between us? I'm not afraid to be the center of attention. This poor slob's just collateral damage, really. I mean, I made some information out of him earlier. But this part? This yep. is just for kicks. Yeah, he's gonna kill him right there. With his own tie, damn. Savage. So quiet. Interesting. Didn't anticipate uh, Alan playing, fake Alan playing with the camera to just tell the story a little bit, I guess. Alright, so yeah, overall, I think this place location-wise has a lot more openness for me to kind of explore as much as I want. Uh, instead of sort of like that linear level. Oh my, the shadow. <laughs> the shadow of this thing really scared me a little bit. But yeah, it's like it's trying to make a sort of open world esque kind of Alan Wake game, which I kind of think was a good turn of risk, like a turn of events for a risky uh, move. But otherwise, I think that. Well, here you are, about to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the books. Hmm. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually saw them twice back in the 70s. I was just a kid then, but my dad worked at this club, and he'd sneak me in to see bands all the time. You know, just talk about an education. Anyway, great band, a <laughs> couple of great albums, solid fan base, and then they kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, now, almost four decades later, they're making a comeback. And let me tell you, these boys have seen a lot of road. There's some serious rock and roll veterans, because they weren't too young even back in the day. Well, now I've got Odin and Tor Anderson, two of the original old gods, in the studio with me, along oh. with their manager, Barry Wheeler. Nice to have you guys here. Oh, hey, great to be here, Eddie. <laughs> hey. Hello! Now, boys, let me just come around and say this, all right? Spring chickens, you ain't. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you make the stones look young. <laughs> <laughs> you only as old as you feel. <laughs> Who you calling old? <laughs> now, your last album was 1978's In the Valley of My Shadow. 
And then you stopped playing all together after that. Why? And, and what made you do a comeback after all this time? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was a sad thing. See, the original bass player for Old Gods, Fat Bob Balder, passed away in... Leukemia! Bob had leukemia, poor bastard. Yeah, after that, we didn't feel like playing no more. Damn. Long story short, I ran into these guys up in Washington, and it was obvious to me that they still got it. So I figured, hey, let's make some music, right? And they went for it. Now, Barry, you were a literary agent before this, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, and you were very successful. You represented Alan Wake, I believe, who disappeared under mysterious... Yeah, yeah, yeah that's... Uh, hey, I just want to talk about old gods tonight. Is that cool? Can we do that? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Listen, why don't we take a little break, and then later on in the program, we'll hear the new Old God single. Stay tuned, folks. Well, at least Barry landed on his feet. Yeah, at least Barry got to continue his job of whatever he wanted to do. I mean, at the same time, it wasn't really easy. Oh, I got... I, oh, my God, it replenishes the ammunition. Holy heck. All right. I can't go into... Can I go into these places? Okay, yeah, like, it, it does the same system of push the door open kind of thing. Okay. I thought I had to press, like, E or F or something to kind of, like, open these doorways. Which is nice that they're still bringing back the old stuff. Movable objects as well. Fantastic. I love this. The minimap on the top left-hand uh, corner of the screen shows you current objectives. Locations of am ammo boxes and safe havens are also shown as icons. Blinking question marks indicate a hidden manuscript page nearby. Oh, they made it easier for this, for this game. I forgot about that. Interesting. So they made it easier for us to kind of like find things that we may or may not had uh, have had. Where's this question mark? Here, it's in one of these rooms, I guess. Like the room inside the motel rooms. Well, I can't get into there yet, so I can't really say for sure I have any ways of getting to that yet. So whatever. All right, we have a jump button. Oh, we do. Nice. Cool. What this game really does remind me of is, like, the idea of, like, uh... It's, like, those ideas of, like, the, the shows. I forgot what kind of show would be similar to this particular game. Anything in here? And then I can't even get in here yet. I think I need, like, the master key to these motel rooms. Oh. Cola. Served in cans. I can't even see it. Ice cold cola, I think it says. Light is so bright. I guess God Rays might be the reason why. I might be wrong, though. Alright, let's check out these other rooms if they are open or not. Nope. Though the lights are on, it's whatever it is. Phone booth had nothing, I think. That's locked as well. A lot of these places are locked. It's so weird. Yeah, nope. Nope little gas station here with like oil like trucks i guess chicha trucks i'm a little concerned though because i'm just like i don't know what the find three items for rewriting reality okay i, I haven't looked at the the uh i haven't looked at the requirements of what to do next interesting there's a manuscript here all right, let's read that manuscripts, baby. I know that when I arrive, the clarity of vision I have now may disappear. I've made my plans. I prepared for this, but I know the transition from the dark place will be hard on me, and not just physically. It may affect my mind, my memory. These pages should help me remember and focus. That's worked for me before. Even if that fails, I think I will be able to trust my instincts. I'm navigating my own story. I'm hoping I'll know where to go and what to do, even if the details elude me. Huh. Alrighty, ready? I mean, at the same time, I think that... Alan is technically really lost in all of this. Like, he doesn't really know what's considered uh, a place for him to keep going at this point, considering that there's so much happening at this point. Is this world? I feel like you're gonna. We're, we'll probably get in there eventually somehow later on. I'm assuming that driving is also still a thing in this game. Hey, Flurkin, I'll take it. Oh, I might fall on the ammo, I guess. Yeah, I'm full on the pistol ammo, it seems. Uh. 
Oh, let's pick up the ammo. More flares, I guess, I'll take. Yeah, there's these trucks. I'm worried about these trucks a little bit, but it's whatever the point is. Yeah, I mean, it's getting creepier every time when I'm, like, going to places with no lights. Doesn't seem like I can use a car. I'm trying to see if there's anything out here, I guess. Yeah, there's, like, this eeriness of, like, at, like the ambiance of eeriness here. Anything in the back here? It's like a garage in the back here, I guess. Yeah, we can't use the car because I remember that this is not a big map. Like, this is not a map that's big enough to make it harder to, like, like walk to places that you need to go to in this game. These shadows make me think it's a road or something's going on. But it's truly not, and like, not, and like, nothing is literally happening there. I'm just imagining it in a weird way. Alright. Yeah, the thing is still spewing out shadows and such. Arizona Petroleum Inc. Night Springs Division. Huh. Let me grab the shotgun here because I know there's a shotgun here. Pump action. It's a little sad how many problems you can solve with buckshot. Uh-huh. Alright, we got the shotgun now at this point, so that's good. Now we have, like, the full-on weapons we may need to survive a good chunk of the fights. We can also unlock the manuscript now, I think. Sweet. Yeah, I'm not gonna equip it right now. I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. So I'm guessing the light is kind of like my checkpoint in a weird way. So this lady's gonna keep working on her thing, I guess. All right, all right. So we got two different weapons we can use instead of the pistol if we choose to. Otherwise, I don't know how you would ever get the ammunition for the other weapons, though. Uh, what do we want to do next? Make our way to the diner, I guess? Find three items for rewriting. Oh, so manuscripts are the rewriting items, I guess. That's my assumption of what it wants me to do. Alright, let's see what's over... Yeah, let's check the trucks. I think the trucks would be a good way to start for a little bit, and then I'll probably end the episode after we got, go and check out the trucks. But it's creepy as hell over here, dude. Everywhere I go, it feels kind of creepy as hell. Oh, come on! Okay. I see how it is. Yeah, I don't think it's doing any damage to them. Yeah, it's not. That's weird. Right, there we go. Yeah, the fire rate of the 9mm is like... Alright, let's see There we go. <laughs> just needed to just take that one shot at him. Alright. I think the item we need is... Oh, it's right here. Pick up the battery. That's one thing down. Alright, let's pick up the ammunition and then probably save with the checkpoint, I guess. I think that's it, yeah. Yep, checkpoint reached. Alright, cool. Uh, go over here to actually get the full-on checkpoint. Because I wish there was a better saving system, but there isn't like a much more easier saving system than the checkpoint system that they have for the lights when you get into these particular lights. Yeah, if this one gets reached, the other one gets kind of lit up later on. But it's over time, I think. Alright, cool. Thank you guys for watching anyways. Uh, currently, for now, we're just kind of taking it slow. Uh, and I know it's dark. You can see like how dark it is. Let me yeah, leave that light on to kind of make sure my hand gestures are seeable in some capacity. But thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode where nobody minds. Uh, this is the start of the American Nightmare. Uh, I don't think that this series will be that long in general. I think it'll probably be about gosh like 20 episodes maybe at best i think like i think each section of these maps will probably take me about i'm trying to think like how many like i think it will take me about six five to six episodes each for the place and then it would be like about 20 episodes ish like a little bit around 20 episodes i think this whole series will take but that's my assumption my my sort of prediction but otherwise, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more American Nightmare. I'm actually liking it. I, I mean, I've missed out 
playing the whole game. I've only got to, like, the second world, the second town place location that the game mentions through the manuscripts, I believe. Yeah, I, I only reached the observatory, and that was it. Like, I didn't reach the drive-in theater at all whatsoever. I never did, so that was why I think that... Uh, I would love to try to play this game and finish this game to see what I missed out on because I really didn't get to finish it the last time I played it. But otherwise, yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever it comes next. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it for this episode. Roz. Ah.